London versus Paris. Welcome to France. Trafalgar Square in London, one of the nice places to hang around. Picking a favorite city when it comes to London versus Paris can be such a tricky task. It's always a struggle since both of these great cities are famous for their so refreshing experiences as well as iconic attractions. London and Paris are both at the heart of two great European nations. While London is the capital of England and the United Kingdom, it is also the largest city within the country. London is just a place you need to visit. Paris on the other hand is the capital city of France and has rich European history and is regarded to be a global center for culture, fashion, art and gastronomy. Bonjour de Paris. Voilà. 1. Size Paris is a large city, but way less than London in terms of area coverage. In fact, London is 15 times larger than Paris. 2. Population The Greater Paris region is estimated to host 12.4 million people, while the Inner Paris is home to 2.14 million. London, on the other hand, is home to an average of 8.9 million people. It has a lesser population density here, and if you're looking for a less populous city, then London would be a perfect suit when comparing London versus Paris. Culture For instance, in England, a handshake is the standard way to greet a person before Corona, of course. Also in London, language is not a significant factor as the British assume everyone speaks English. Londoners will also be willing to engage in deep, lengthy conversations. The French culture on the other hand accepts a handshake, although a kiss is a conventional way of saying hello, <laughs> before corona of course. If the whole kissing thing is not okay with you, you can brush cheeks and kiss the air. In terms of the language, the French are quite protective of their language. <laughs> Therefore, while in Paris, try to speak some French. Most stranger conversations in Paris will be small talks and chit-chats. Cost of living Both London and Paris are known for their high cost of living. But London is more expensive than Paris. Rent prices in London are nearly 51% higher than those in Paris. Therefore, if you are planning on a less expensive trip in terms of rent, then Paris would be a great option. Moulin Rouge but note that groceries and other consumer prices are 4% lower in London than in Paris. Leisure and entertainment. London seems to have an advantage in terms of leisure and entertainment activities. There are numerous fun things to do in London. Buckingham Palace. For starters, London has 380 public libraries while Paris has 69 of them. Concerning museums, London has 240, while Paris has 153 museums. Besides, the English Metropolitan has a bewildering choice of concert venues compared to Paris. Most football fans will mostly find themselves attracted to London rather than Paris. London hosts six major football clubs that play in the top league, and this club is always number four, while Paris has only one major club, PSG. French League is also known as Farmers League. Just kidding. People. Londoners are more open-minded and open to engaging conversations and criticism, thanks to the diversity within the city. People in Paris are a little bit culture sensitive, but are also fun to get along with once you get to know them. Paris, mon chéri. Conclusion. Which is better, London or Paris? Well, both cities have their unique aspects making it hard to point out which city is better than the other in general. For me, it's London. I like the vibe, the atmosphere, the English language and the people more than I do in Paris. But it solely depends on what you are looking for as well as your values. Do you have any country you like other than England? France. Why? I just love speaking French, love the way of life. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer, London or Paris? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go, 150 countries and more to come.